Monday during Me Made May. How exciting. Today I'm showing you my McCall's 8106 aka Sky McCall's. I had a ton of fun making this dress and cannot wait to tell you all about it. The website describes this as a bias cut slip dress with cowl neckline um, and with or without drawstring details. I somehow missed the part about it being a bias cut dress, but I was thrilled when I saw that. I love bias cut dresses. So flattering, so comfortable. Regardless, I was going to be making this out of a knit, so bias doesn't really apply to this version, but it was nice to know for future makes. So I cut this on the straight grain and I did size down. I do think there are some small fit issues, mostly with the back piece, and there are also some construction things that I want to point out. So the cowl neck is really easy to sew. It's just this little like extra curve to your center front that you just tuck and fold along that center front and it creates this super pretty little drape. The back is finished, the back neckline is finished with a facing, which is a little odd for a knit, but I just went with it. As I'm showing you this facing, you can see that the center back is a little bit wide, which makes sense because you can also see from the front that the straps are kind of like wide set. I think they're supposed to be sitting up higher on my shoulder. I mean, not super high, but maybe like an inch or so in. This would also make the cowl a little bit droopier, a little bit drapier, and maybe a little bit more intentional, which I actually think is a good thing. The other thing I want to point out is the construction of the shoulder seam. They have you sew and finish the shoulder seam, then finish your arm side, and then sew down the facing. There is no instruction for finishing the raw edge of the shoulder edge of the facing either. Again, this is a knit, so it's not that big of a deal, but if it had been a woven, I would have had to unpick some seams to finish that facing. The next fit thing that I want to talk about is the um, size of the arm side, mostly the scoop that's underneath the arm. It is a pretty low scoop, so I think that I need to actually take it up in the shoulder seam. Whenever I have a really low arm side like this, I find that just filling it in doesn't necessarily fix the problem and then it usually is a result of your shoulders being too long. Um, so I need to take up the shoulder some. I'll put this on my ditto form and show you guys what I'm talking about in a future um, Tuesday fitting video, but I just wanna point out that this does have really droopy arm size. Other than those things, the fit is really nice. It's just shapely enough to show some curves, but not too tight that it is uncomfortable. The length of the dress is as drafted. I did not lengthen or shorten the pattern at all, and I am 5'5 five five for reference. The hem length is just below my knee, but I think that that's nice with a dress of this design, and I wouldn't have wanted to shorten it at all. All in all, with a few, with just a few tweaks here and there, I think this pattern is really going to be a great tried and true. My next one will for sure be a bias cut woven, so stay tuned for that. I do want to talk to you guys about the fabric some. This is a cotton jersey knit from Joanne. Joanne has a lot of great jersey knits. They just happen to be in the juvenile section of the store. I do not know why they're not printing uh, more mature prints on this cotton print. Hopefully, maybe they're watching these videos and they will start to do that because I've mentioned it before. They have some beautiful prints in the women's section, but they're all on rayon jersey and I much prefer a cotton jersey. So check out the um, juvenile uh, prints, the knits. They, you know, obviously there's dinosaurs and rainbows and things like that. But they also have some that are just really fun, kind of bright, maybe borderline juvenile. I'm okay with that. Um, but this one's really nice. I got another one that's tie-dye. So you can find some things. You just kind of have to dig for it. Oh, and I also heard from a viewer that they're doing solids now. So be sure to check that out. But that is going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you very soon. Bye.